clever boss. I am back with more experiments in acrylic paint. The brushes I picked up since during the last month were an immediate improvement to the process. They are still cheap brushes but they don't jet like crazy and I have a bit of a better selection of sizes. On top of that I picked up a tube of Winsor & Newton acrylic paint in black last time I was in the art shop. As usual, a list of all the materials used can be found in the description below. As for the subject matter, it is not one of my typical characters or anthropomorphic animals, but I have been practicing flowers towards the end of my last sketchbook, so I wanted to use my new skill in a painting. I probably was too generous with the center of the flowers, but I hope they can still be identified as clematis and not just after I tell people what it is either. Let me know in the comments how I did or where I can improve. Botanicals are not my typical subject for painting, but practice makes progress. I am at the moment trying to be a bit ahead of time with my videos because of Worldcon. If I have more information between me recording the voiceover and the editing and uploading of the video, I will add text overlays. As of now, I have been told they will announce the table allocation closer to the date. For now, all I know is that we will be in the dealer's hall in the main building of the convention center in Dublin. If I was less organized and persistent, I probably would have given up at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if many of the convention participants from outside Ireland ended up not going as a result of a lack of organization and communication. I got the prints made and spent a week in packaging them. Despite having been offered to have them packed in cellar sleeves by the printer, I am trying to not use single-use plastics, so I did all the packing on my own. Going completely without plastics I don't manage, but at least I can stay away from single-use. What I am using instead is poly pockets, at least they are multi-use while still clear. I want to make sure that people get handed the prints they are paying for, rather than turning it into some sort of a lucky dip. Should doing the convention circuit suit me, I am sure there will in future be sustainable options that I can switch to, but so far I haven't come across one and prints do need some protection. The printers I am using is a local company where I know people who work there. There are a number of advantages to that, not least that I have the option of meeting people in town after hours to discuss the job, which is hugely important when you yourself work a full-time job. This being my first convention, I have no idea what the type of stuff I need or the quantities are, so I was guessing and it turned out to be a decent stack of friends. I think it can go either way, but let's hope for the best. All I know is that the organizers probably are not going to need the overflow area they secured for Artist Ali. That sure sounds good from the point of view that anyone with purchasing something already on the line comes to the area that the artists have set up into. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you next week.